At heights of cut of half an inch or lower, using a groomer attached on your greens mower can significantly improve the quality of cut. A groomer is a real mower cutting head attachment that lightly verticuts the turf and helps the grass to stand up straighter before encountering the reel and bed knife. Ultimately, this results in a higher quality cut. Groomer setup is especially important on bent grass greens since the growth characteristics of this grass type will introduce cut inconsistencies that negatively affect how well a golf ball rolls. Now when it comes to adjusting a groomer, there are two common configurations, below grade and above grade. In a below grade configuration, the lowest point of the groomer is set lower than the front roller. Setting the groomer below grade produces an aggressive cut and lightly verticuts the turf. Unfortunately, this causes accelerated wear to the groomer, making it far less common to see below the grade configurations being regularly used. An above grade configuration is where the lowest point of the groomer is set equal to or above the height of the front roller. This configuration is less aggressive, resulting in lower groomer wear and faster turf recovery between mowings. Because it's far more common, we'll be covering the above grade height adjustment process using a Toro DPA cutting head. Special thanks to Jim and the team at Stone Mountain Golf Club by Marriott for granting us access to their facility to create this video. Keep in mind that all of the process is being demonstrated on a Toro, the same concepts apply to other real mowers as well. First, let's cover the tools you'll need. This is a groomer gauge by Accu Products International. It consists of a straight metal bar and a dial indicator. The dial indicator has a plate attached to the bottom of it, which makes it easier to find the lowest point of the groomer. In addition to a groomer gauge, you need a 5 8 inch socket or wrench. The 5 8 socket is used to make changes to the groomer height adjustment screw. Finally, since we'll be working around a sharp reel, groomer, and bed knife, you should wear a pair of gloves to protect your hands. The first step is to ensure the cutting head is set to our desired height of cut. This is important because the groomer cutting height is typically set to half the height of cut of the bed knife. If you need help with setting up the height of cut on your mower, see the earlier lesson on this topic. In our case, the height of cut is set to 0 0.140 inches. This means that our target height for the groomer will be half that number at 0 0.07 inches. To check the groomer height, place the groomer gauge on the cutting head with the bar resting against the front and rear roller. The dial indicator should be located directly over the groomer reel. We get the current groomer height by first pressing the dial indicator plate against the groomer. We then rotate the groomer by hand until we find the lowest indicated point. In this case, we see the groomer set to 0.325 inches, meaning it needs to be lowered quite a bit. We lower the groomer by using the 5 8 socket to rotate the groomer height adjustment screw counterclockwise. Much like adjusting the height of cut on a bed knife, the best results will come from going back and forth on each side of the groomer and adjusting each side a little bit at a time. As you move the groomer gauge back and forth, make sure to rotate the groomer to its lowest point to ensure that you get an accurate reading. Continue this back and forth process until you're happy with the setting. As is also true when it comes to mower height of cut, it's good practice to periodically check the groomer height to ensure that it hasn't shifted. For homeowners, this typically means after every eight hours or so of mowing. The most important point to keep in mind when setting up your groomer is to take your time and get measurements on both sides of the groomer to ensure they have the same setting. By far, this is the biggest contributor to getting the best possible cut. And there you have it. That's how you set up a groomer on a Toro DPA cutting head. As always, if you have any questions, let me know.